Should I do heavy metal? Okay, so just stop. Stop right now. I need to make a series of videos on chelation, functional medicine doctors, uh, signing up for detox protocols. By the, the very nature of you asking this question, should you do chelation therapy? Um, based on where you're starting from, you have, you have no bearing on what you're getting yourself into. And if you just come, if you've just been experiencing health problems and you're searching for stuff online and you see some, uh, advertising funnel or some ad about chronic fatigue, brain fog, you know, all these things. And then it immediately brings you into, <clears throat> oh, you must have heavy metal poisoning. And that was the cue for you to want to sign up to their program. That's their hook, you know, to get you involved in their, in their program or their detox protocol or their functional medicine, um, either coaching or actual medicine. <laughs> Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm just a guy who's been through all this stuff. And that's a, a, a gigantic red flag. If you're signing up for a program or a detox protocol or a, an idea or coaching or anything like that, and the induction, the introduction to get you involved in that was, oh, you must have heavy metal issues. And no one's ever taken a look at any of your labs. No one knows anything about your life. No one knows anything about your health history. Uh, that's predatory. <clears throat> that is 100% predatory. Because not everyone's a candidate for chelation therapy. Not everyone's a candidate for heavy metal detox protocols. Not everyone's primary issue is heavy metal toxicity or poisoning, as they like to say. You know, they use words like poisoning and toxic and all these things. Or in my case, like, in you know, all this things that land hard enough to get you to take action. They're emotional triggers, but they have no bearing in reality necessarily to what's going on with your health conditions or with your health situation. And the only way that you would know for sure, yeah, you can have a, a speculation or a speculative guess if you've worked with a ton of patients and all this stuff, but without knowing your health history, without seeing any labs from you, without checking, um, anything at all, like this is the intro. Oh, you have heavy metal issues. I can tell you should sign up for our program. You should sign up for our coaching. You should do, you know, this protocol recipe for absolute disaster, right? So sometimes heavy metal toxicity can be a good thing. Why? Because you don't even know the people that are introducing you to these, um, these hooks or these programs are trying to sell you this coaching. Don't even understand how it works. They get a certificate from some stupid MLM that sells uh, supplements, or you get these little practitioners that come in and say, Oh, you should use, you know, cell core, this and that, and maybe not cell core, but any of the ones that allow you to do an MLM, like you sign up and you can sell the supplements and then you get certified and you do a, a detox protocol for people and they get all these great results and lose weight and da, da, da. guys, chelation is a different animal. You do not go after mercury, aluminum, lead, all, all different types of specific compounds with some little certificate from an MLM company. That is a recipe for destroying someone's life potentially, right? Not everyone has the issues, but if you have complications, if you have other issues and you do something like that and your body is not prepared for it, you are going to experience redistribution symptoms and you're going to experience a mobilization phase with no excretion. What the hell do you think happens if you stir up things that are stored in your fat cells and your adipose tissue with no route for them to leave? with your body being ill prepared to deal with that concentration that's induced into circulation. These people don't even understand the words that I'm saying right now. And I have a rudimentary understanding of going through this myself, doing the wrong things, following the wrong people, right? I have had this urge in me for like four years to put together two or three books on Amazon that show people like the chelation dangers, um, how you can just do a low and slow approach that's appropriate for your body's speed and what it's ready for, how you can do sauna and detox binders to remove things out of the adipose tissue successfully. It's documented. Um, it's just slow. You know, everyone wants it like yesterday. Well, there's consequences for having it yesterday and for doing it fast. And if you're not checking and making sure that your body is prepared to do something like that, you will suffer the consequences. And you know who's going to be at fault for it? You. Because these people that do these coaching programs and get you into these little marketing funnels and hooks and all this stuff, they have no idea. They don't have a basic understanding of what's going to happen when you, like the straw that broke the camel's back, the one decision that, that destroys all kinds of stuff because you don't know what you're getting into yet. 
you bought their their MLM products and they want to sign you up as a distributor and you know do this and do that. And I can't remember the names of these companies. Maybe I say the wrong ones, but it's not that the, any one company is the bad. It's the structure of doing stuff like that. You cannot just offer supplements or offer. This is not some stupid fucking weight wrap, you know, weight loss wrap thing that you put around your belly and has some gel on it. And magically it's supposed to, you know, do this or that. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You're out 150 bucks or whoever, you know, signs you up as their, you know, whatever second tier thing. That's how all these stupid things work. There's not really any consequences doing that other than you made a dumb choice and lost money and the product doesn't work anyway. If you just did the basics, you would accomplish your goal instead. This is much the same, but <coughs> To these people's detriment and shame on them because I've been in this place. I've had so much brain fog. I can't think straight. I've had chronic fatigue where I couldn't get off the couch. I couldn't work. I couldn't even go to the store, get my own groceries. I was like anxious for no reason. Obviously you get depressed after this for a while. Um, you, you know, this just compounds. You're not exercising. You're not moving. You're not leading a normal life. You can't think straight. It's impossible to deduce or to make any common sense out of half the stuff that these people are saying because it's like they're speaking another language. They're like, oh, you want to mobilize, you know, uh, heavy metals or you want to do lead chelation with an EDTA suppository and then the half-life of this and, and like by this point, your brain is just like, what did they say? Okay, I guess they know what they're talking about. I'll just do it with zero idea of what's going on with you. So red flag number one, red flag number one, if you come across any of these ads, and it says, you know, this problem must be heavy metals or, you know, you take this little quiz and you do this little thing and no one's looked at your labs. No one's run anything on you. No one has mentioned anything to you about potentially testing the wrong way for heavy metals because you can actually have labs. It's, it's atrocious that somebody would do blood labs to test heavy metals. The, the, the whole process, the whole thought process, process behind that is insane. Unless you have an acute exposure, and I mean a massive recent exposure to heavy metals, there isn't going to be any in your blood. Why? Because what's circulating through your blood gets filtered out in about 24 hours, right? That's the job. What do you think the job of the organs are? What do you think this giant filtration system is? Okay. So if you had an exposure a year ago, or if you're a welder and you have chronic low grade exposure, your body is not going to show super high levels in the blood if that's your only method of testing. And just relying on hair testing is stupid also because it just shows that there was an exposure. It doesn't show you if, you know, it's chronic. Is there a substantiation? Like everyone that does this HTMA testing and only does HTMA testing is not combining it with something else is also in the dark. They have no idea what they're doing. They're making poor decisions because your body can go through what's called a holding phase or a dumping phase. Meaning, right? And this is why if heavy metal toxicity can be a good thing because you don't even understand how it works, right? No one in their right mind would ever tell you that heavy metal toxicity can be a good thing. I'm here to tell you that it can be a good thing because if you have it, it saved your life. Why? If you understand the mechanics of what's happening, how do things get put away into tissue? Why are these microscopic uh, heavy metal particles stored in your fat cells? Why? If your body has the ability to detox on its own and it's designed to do that by itself without any assistance, how come it didn't just get rid of that itself? Anyone? 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 So when you, when you, if a child swallows a mercury thermometer, um, <clears throat> it can kill them. What is the body's defense mechanism to handle that acute exposure? Not send all the compound to the organs for processing that would overload it, shut the body down and cause them to die. So what does it do instead? It deposits them in little pieces around in the tissues to get them, you know, out of circulation and what preserve life. Huh? Imagine that preserve life, right? Never in the history of me doing this. Have I heard someone talk like this? Like I'm talking to you now, the people that sell this coaching stuff and are selling these MLM products have no idea what I'm talking about. And the only reason that I know what I'm saying is because I've been through this many, 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 many times, hiring the wrong functional medicine doctors, doing the wrong practitioners, uh, protocols, getting bad coaching advice, right? Having some guy that tells me that I need to do, I need to eat this 
uh, in order to detox that, right? Or some crazy thing like that. But they're not even measuring it. They're just, they've been saying this for 30 fucking years. No basis in reality at all. Just as bad as the people doing the coaching and doing these ads for the coaching and, and trying to, to pull you in and without even checking to see if this is an issue for you, right? And so there's so many things that we could talk about here. This is a very complex topic and it's different for everyone because you have a complex medical history. No two people are under the same circumstances and the same environmental stressors or the same chemical exposures, right? Most people didn't grow up like me in a, in a, in a plant nursery with fertilizers and spraying Roundup with a five gallon backpack drum of it, carrying it around, spilling it down my back as a kid. You didn't work in a factory building AV equipment, running a CNC machine, you know, milling MDF. Most people's chemical exposure um, is different, right? And you have to account for that. So if somebody tries to rope you in to a heavy metal detox protocol saying that that's your issue without ever checking to see if that's your issue or explaining something to you like, hey, um, if this is in fact your problem and you do have a high concentration of heavy metals, hey, let's make sure that we're not going to rush you into a detox protocol or I'm not going to coach you into some type of chelation therapy when your body's not ready for it. Because if it couldn't get rid of it the first time and we mobilize that much in too high of a dose the second time and it has nowhere to put it, what's going to happen? Redistribution, no exit. Then what? You have terrible symptoms. Your symptoms get worse. You develop things like MCAS or MCS, right? You have autoimmune issues. Your body is trying to attack a foreign substance that's in your body and it can't get rid of it. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? It's going to continue to do that in an endless loop and eat up all your energy. So shame on these people for putting these adverts, whatever you want to call them, out there. Shame on them for selling coaching without knowing what they're talking about. And shame on them for promoting MLM supplement things that can do more harm than good used in the wrong, you know, sequence or, or methodology, you know, approaching it from a, a, a methodology of not even doing any testing. This is scary. This is frightening, right? I had something similar happen to me, but it's been a number of years. I mean, it's been six, seven years ago, I think. Um, and this wasn't as prevalent. There weren't so many MLM companies trying to recruit people. So now you're seeing it more and more and more. And yeah, if you're a person that has no underlying health issues, your body can withstand going through something like that and not having any issues. Hence, you know, the decent reviews and this and that. But if you're a person that truly has issues with heavy metals or has some type of pesticide toxicity, which by the way, a lot of people say that you cannot sweat out certain compounds. That is false. There's a ton of compounds that do not come out through the skin, but there's also a ton of compounds that do come out through the skin. A lot of it has to do with the chain and the size, right? So you can sweat out an accumulation of certain chemicals, especially certain pesticides, right? It doesn't mean that the damage isn't already done to your tissues and to your system, right? So you have to account for that. Just because it's not present doesn't mean that it was present at one time and causing issue, you know, an issue. So health, that's why health history and not just labs matters. You have to take into someone's uh, personal history into account. Um, and I'm not the guy for this. I'm not the doctor. I'm not a functional medicine doctor. I don't sell services like this. I just get pissed off because I bought a bunch of them. And I'm going to make videos about functional medicine doctors either. Do not sign up for high-priced coaching. And don't pay for it all up front. The follow-up care is atrocious. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't even know if these people are qualified to help you. Because you haven't done any labs to check yourself anyway. That would be step number one. Yet, you're vulnerable. Shame on them. You are vulnerable. And they know it. And this is a business for them. Right? And they have the ability, when you're vulnerable, to paint you a picture of how this is going to go and you buy into it because you want better for yourself. Good for you. Shame on them. It's, it is their fault, not your fault. Um, but we've got to be bringing awareness to these things because, in my opinion, some of this is predatory and I don't like it. I don't want you to fall victim to it. Uh, I'm going to get, let me order a whiteboard. I'm going to order a whiteboard and I'm going to put some things up there for you to kind of get. What am I talking about when I say you're inducing <clears throat> uh, compounds into circulation that have otherwise been stored away for your benefit? You really have to understand this concept. And no one that sells this coaching or these programs or chelation therapy or anything else is going to explain it to you like this 
because A, they haven't been on the other side. Like I don't run these therapy protocols for people. I'm the one who has bought them and tried them and had great success or had terrible you know, symptoms as a result. And it takes a long time to put two and two together and understand how this uh, sequence of events can either help you or harm you, right? And what other downstream things need to be in place in order for your body to successfully undergo something like this? Yet someone will sell you a $5,000, $6,000 coaching package and supposed to walk you through this and do all this stuff for you and have this great benefit without taking these things into account. So forget about being out five or six K. I mean, I've done that numerous times. Who gives it? Who cares? It doesn't matter. The money doesn't matter. You can get the money back. It's difficult to get your health back after you make a serious mistake like this. And so what I want to do is paint you a picture of what happens when you induce things into circulation and your body's not ready for it. And I'm not a great artist. It's going to be rudimentary. It'll just be, it'll give you a visual to understand why does the body store things in the fat cells? What happens when you undergo an acute exposure and why is it rate limited? Why is it trying to get rid of it, rid of it at a rate limit or at a set rate limit? And what determines your body's ability to either process less or process more? Like what are the goes and stops? What are the, um, I'm thinking of monopoly, like do not pass go. <laughs> right. But it's very important to keep it rudimentary in um, verbiage, in, under, in, in trying to explain this because it's very complicated and it's extremely easy for you to get the bull pulled over your eyes. But I have an idea and I wanna do that. Let me know what you think. Beware of these people selling these MLM supplements. And don't sign up for any coaching functional medicine doctor offers or any type of um, programs that don't begin with labs. Because without labs, somebody telling you that you have an issue without even looking is terrible.